Let me zoom in, give you kind of a closer look at what. There's a lot going on today, yeah? So we started here. Let me get a, a point. There we go. We started here with this figure. And then the fish made itself um, visible. And then it was this caterpillar. Caterpillar. And then the fox. And then the waterfalls, and then this, which I, what I think might be a crow, and then like this little doorway opening back there. So that was kind of the progression of it. And stars came out from her. Um, and now as I'm looking at it, it's like, is she in the water? I almost... Yeah. kind of want to continue these lines on her. She's like in the water. That's okay. There we go. Which I'll have to show you if I, if I, I, okay, I have to show you now. Actually, hold on one second. I'm going to move the camera. So if you're real sensitive to motion, just be aware that that's happening. I just have to show you this because we were talking about, oh, excuse the, there's my studio. There's my dog. <laughs> okay, I have to show you this painting though, because it's, it's very much, feels very much like today's painting. And this one is, it's called Lily. And she's in water. There's a sandcastle. I know somebody mentioned sandcastle. And this was, I was doing some inner child work. And so it's very much natty, like what you're talking about, like, the memories. So I have memories of going to the beach and playing with toads. <laughs> Old toad. But she's like part of the water. And I feel like that's what I'm moving back now. Um, I feel like that's what this one is saying is she's part of her environment. Just like that. Like the we're part of our environment that we experience becomes part of us all those like the river becomes part of you the song of the river becomes part of you right so thank you for that detour but um yeah so i feel like that's a really strong message of this part of it anyway and the fish that jumped up i feel is coming out of the water to kind of face her and she's a little shocked by it so i feel like there's a potential for today for things to come in and move in ways into our external experience that we're not expecting, like a fish out of water, um, that we might be really sensitive and aware to things that seem out of place, but they're not. They're like, and this is also, um, we had this message earlier, so it feels like a continuation of this one from some energies from Thursday, where we're dismantling old ideas and receiving so this one's got a waterfall and i feel like the source energy the energy is coming in to let us really uh, reimagine things there's a lot of active imagination i think that fox energy here too is it's like shape shifting it can become anything i think when we first started out it was like oh there's so much potential that feels very true for today um I like to interpret the white space around. So if you ever get a reading from me, I'll usually say that like um, those are on one sheet of paper. So there's not, so the edges don't touch other paintings. And when there's white space around, I interpret that as the non-physical, um, like a representation of non-physical. And then wherever the paint is, is like our material experience. So this fish is very interesting to me because it's not just coming out of the water we assume it would come out of the water because it's a fish, but it's actually coming out of the non-physical realm. See how it's coming out of this white space and kind of jumping from there. So it's something coming to us to show us from the non-physical realm. And then that sunny day, I just feel like there's like fun, fuzzy, sunny energy available to us, even though there's probably some deep work that we're doing, um, some like intense 
So there's also this like cuddly fuzzy stuff that's going to bridge that external and internal experience. Um, so kind of lean into the fuzzy puffball energy that shows up for you that'll help you uh, navigate it. A caterpillar. You get it, Tessa. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging my caterpillar. Uh, so it's that kind of thing that's going to come in and just be silly. And you're going to go, oh, okay, this is, I, I, yeah, so lean into it. It's going to help you navigate some of this kind of really kind of crazy change energy that's happening. Right behind it is this doorway. I feel like there's some kind of alchemy symbolism stuff happening carved into the rocks or whatever this is. Um, so lots of transformation, lots of change. If you choose, if you want to go into, go into the kind of your own inner temple, right? And it's, it's going to feel playful and fun so you can access it through your inner child. There's also this kind of standing in the water crow again. So the fish is coming out of water. The bird is in the water. So there's like this shift of where we like X, where we think things are supposed to be or how we think things are supposed to show up. Um, I think I love the catfish bird thing because it feels there feels like a cycle here. The many aspects of self again, everything in the painting represents some aspect of self. So these are just the different aspects of self showing up in this really wonderful kind of playful way. Tons of tons of water flowing. So lots of source energy just flowing in. Um, so kind of be open to that. Be embody it. That's what it feels like. If I look at the top and bottom, we're very aware of kind of like this main source of energy flowing in. We're aware of the silly, goofy stuff that's happening. Um, it's like the fuzzy foot. As well. What we're not, what what's new to us, what will be new to us today, um, is this. Oh, I'm in my environment. I am in my element, um, and that things can come from the non non physical. It'll probably show up externally um, to remind you that, like, yeah, nothing is set, like you can follow your preferences. It doesn't have to be um, like some prescribed thing. A fish can be out of water and still thrive. Um, in this new energy, or if you choose to define it that way, I guess is way, what I want to say. Left and right, this is the internal experience, this is the external experience. Internally, we feel like a bird in water. Externally, we feel like a fish out of water. So there's like this, we're just adjusting, we're acclimating still. Um, that's what's, <laughs> that's what's kind of happening. Be, being in it or going deeper within, like that's a possibility too. Um, I feel like this is kind of main character, so we're we're sitting right in between both right now. Again, yesterday's was all about integration and bringing things together, showing up, defining who we want, what we want. Um, today's feels like that too, but in a um, like integrate all the many aspects of self, but in a really active way, I guess. I'm gonna pull a card. Kind of get a little bit more, put some words to it. Not that I haven't put enough words out. <laughs> Storms subside. Oh, isn't that an interesting one? Because I've we're like it's storming all morning this morning. You will climb up back up again. Until then, splash in the puddles. <laughs> That's perfect. Celebrate the rainbow to come and savor the sweetness of life. I just want to point out this little zebra eating a cupcake over here. I love that this person, so okay, this painting, the first two colors that were chosen were this yellow sunny day and then this blue gray, gray Right, so we were talking about storms, we're using that, so <laughs> we're being presented with the vocabulary that we started with, <laughs> it's great. Um, splashing in the puddles, you know, it's about that childlike joy. Just celebrate what's coming, even though it might feel like you're you're in the middle of a storm or whatever, you're kind of in, this, in the thick of it, celebrate this rainbow that's on the way. 
you know, and you do that by sell, by savoring the sweetness of life. You enjoy the, the cuddly caterpillars as they show up, these weird things that like, oh my God, life is so weird. You know, the things that show up and you're like, what a goofy, <laughs> what a goofy experience. But look at how much she looks just like her. It's so weird. Uh, get on your galoshes. Yeah. So that's the message for today. <laughs> have fun jump in the puddles splash in the puddles until you climb back you know it's the itsy bitsy spider you fall down and you climb back up again you know um so yeah enjoy your day so i can pull cards for anybody who'd like one did i create these i sure did yeah so these this one is from the sacred so i have the Sacred Journey deck is one deck, but it shows up in two different ways. One of them is hand stamped. This one, I, I stamp them and they're gilded on the edges or gilt or whatever. And then there's an open edition, which is like an economical version. I release um, 11 card expansion packs of these every so often, whenever I make them. <laughs> um, and the cards are created, so I do private readings and that's how the where the card images come from. And then this is the For the Love of Trees. It's all tree theme. It was the first deck I made. And then I also have the Mandala series. That's the Mandala series. They're all circles, and but they're all created the same way I did the painting today. I just put down a bunch of paint. I use Peridolia and just kind of see what I see. It's like scrying or kind of like reading tea leaves a little bit. 